So, so Refold essentially founded last December uh, mm-hmm. with your co-founder, Ethan. He's a software engineer. He's moved to South America to learn Spanish. Uh, the goal of Refold is, is uh, stated as demolish the language barrier. And it seems, of course, we know to be an immersion-based system. How does the program work and why is it more advantageous than other systems? Yeah, I mean, I'm a little biased, but I think it's the best way to learn a language. And yeah. that's why I, I mean, I basically took all my experience and all my research on the best ways to learn a language and put it into a structured system so that other people could replicate it. And that's exactly what it is. And so the way that it works is we break the whole language learning process into four stages. The first stage is kind of the what you described earlier on as the Tim Ferriss type stuff. You're learning the most common 1,000 to 2,000 words, you're getting a very basic introduction to the grammar and just kind of laying that that uh, groundwork so that when you jump into the language, you're not totally lost. Then in stage two, you are you start immersing yourself in the language and consuming as, as much content as you can in that language. And you're trying to really focus on building up your comprehension. And that's mostly done through mass exposure, but you also systematically uh, make flashcards out of the words and phrases that are coming up in your immersion right. and you use what's called a space repetition system t- which is basically a, a, a program that has an algorithm that calculates the optimal time for you to study all your flashcards so you do this to, to huh. grow your comprehension as quickly as possible wow. and then in stage three you work on speaking so this is probably one of the most unorthodox aspects of the approach but at the beginning you're not focused on speaking at all you're focused entirely on listening and reading comprehension. And then in stage three, you start actually speaking. But what happens is, since you've had so much exposure to the language and you've kind of built up an instinct for the language through getting uh, so much input in it, you start being able to speak really naturally. And, and you know, you still make mistakes. It's still difficult at first, but it's going to come to you much more quickly and you're going to end up getting much better, much more quickly than people who try to speak at the very beginning. So by the end of stage three, you have basic fluency in the language. And then stage four is taking that basic fluency and increasing it to basically go as far as you want. You know, there's kind of no end point. You can, you can take it all the way up to, you know, native level fluency. Maybe you go past native level fluency. You try to become the next Mark Twain of your target, which is totally <laughs> up to you. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you, you get off the ride whenever you've had enough. Really interesting. You mentioned before about that, that algorithm. I, I, look, for me, the biggest thing is like, how does a business like this go from being, because, you know, you've said in previous interviews, your current goal is to get people like Jacob who not so much have fallen off the bandwagon, but are, are passionate language learners and have had struggles over the time. And then you draw them in through this uh, system, let's call it. So to me, actually the go to market is not about marketing or talking about it so much on your YouTube channel. It's about developing the product. And so mm-hmm. I'm intrigued, where does the development go from here? I.e., Is it horizontally with more language or is it vertically with the way that you teach people? How do you guys view that at the moment? Well, the first thing that we're focusing on right now is building products that help people implement this process. So one of the first things we did is we built a Japanese flashcard deck for this system that's completely optimized to this method. The thing is, there's a lot of textbooks out there. There's a lot of even Anki decks and other other things out there that are meant to teach you Japanese or another language. But they're not optimized for the immersion method. They're optimized for the traditional method that doesn't actually work very well. So we're going to work on creating guides or basically flashcard decks and grammar guides that are optimized specifically for this process. And we are going to do that in many languages. Uh, you know, we're, we have to do that through partnering with other people who are experts in each language, right? I can't write a French guide. I can only write yeah. a Japanese guide. So that's kind of the most basic thing. And, th- and then we're thinking of also actually selling the, the more advanced content itself. So there'll be kind of like a quick start guide for every language that's free. And there'll also be a, a language generic guide that goes in depth, but it's not um, customized or specific to any language that's free. And so if you don't want to spend any money, we're, we want to make sure that you can take all the content we have and you can m- use that. And that'll be enough to get fluent. But if you want to, to save some time and some convenience, then there's going to be an in-depth guide customized and specific to each specific target language that will probably be behind a paywall as well. So those are kind of like the initial products on our roadmap. That's really cool because you can sort of see how if you it, uh, recognize that you're not the specialist in the language, you can bring in other specialists, who, let's say, who exist on YouTube 
And that in and of itself is a way of going to market and drawing in further people. That's yeah. Really and it's cool. kind of cool because I've been doing YouTube long enough now that there's yeah, people yeah. who started learning a language by watching my videos and taking my advice, you know, three, four years back and now are fluent in their target language. And so they've used this style of method and the style of approach. And a lot of them learned a language other than Japanese. Mm. So now we can kind of partner with those people and kind of bring them on board. Go for the other one. Yeah.